Yo, what is going on guys? It is Yutonic here and I'm back with another video for you. I hope you guys do enjoy this video as it is something different I haven't done in a little while since my last controller review, which is a month, a few months ago actually. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. I'm gonna let you guys know I'm reviewing the Fine Fine T683 microphone. Uh, they, uh, they reached out to me and sent me the microphone, so I'm gonna go ahead and review it and just give you guys my overall thoughts on the microphone versus some of my others that I have. So again, hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to go ahead and drop a fat like and a subscribe. I'd appreciate it so much. And also, anything that I use in this video is going to be linked down in the description. All the microphones, my monitors, keyboard, mice, everything I use in this video will be linked down in the description for you guys to go check out. So again, if you guys do enjoy the video, go ahead and drop me a like. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Alrighty guys, so this is the Fine Fine T683. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and then just kind of show you guys how to set it up. And uh... Yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So this is the kind of the stuff that it comes with. Um, yeah, those are the rings you can actually put the pop filter on. Alrighty guys, so here's the actual microphone itself. It honestly feels kind of sturdy and solid. I thought it was going to be kind of like cheap and tinny, but it really does. It feels like solid. Here is the bottom of the actual microphone stand, the part that would be that would screw onto your desk. This is one of the pop filters, and this is actually like more of a meshy type of one. There's another type that I'm gonna show in a second. This one right here, it's like a uh, like a foamy, spongy type of pop filter, but this mic actually comes with the mesh one that I have shown um, right now. So this is the shock mount. Um, yeah, the shock mount just keeps it from bouncing all over the place, and you know keeps the mic steady. Here is the cable, which actually felt really nice too. It's just a cable, but yeah, it's got a USB-C and a regular USB. And then we have the mic stand, which actually felt and it felt really, really solid. If I'm being honest, like I thought this mic stand was gonna be kind of like cheap feeling, but for it to not be like a really, really expensive mic stand, it definitely feels really good in your hands. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up. I'll probably just show like some clips of me setting part of this up, but it's not too hard. Honestly, the instructions are really, really well. Um, especially for this to be from like a Chinese company. I'm really, really, really surprised with how great the uh, instructions are on here. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and set it up, show you guys a few pieces of me setting it up. And uh, yeah, we'll come back when the mic is pretty much set up and I'll show you guys what it sounds like. Alrighty guys, so we actually have all of the mics set up properly. We have this mic over here, which is the new Fine Fine mic. And this one is also a Fine Fine mic that I have. Just, I found it somewhere in my closet. So this is one of their older Fine Fine mics. This is the one I'm talking through now. And this is the newer one, which I'm not going to talk through it yet, but I just want to show you guys that so you guys know which mic is which. Um, other than that, I think I'm pretty much good. I'm just going to go ahead and test out the mics and kind of let you guys know what the setup process was like. So as far as with both of these microphones, they both, all of the fine, fine mics, as far as I'm concerned, they're all really good. And most of them are all like just plug and play. You pretty much just plug it in and you're good to go. It works with everything. So I'm pretty sure it even works on console. So yeah, they're all really good mics and um, that's pretty much the setup process really. They're really easy and the instructions for setting them up is super simple. So honestly, I didn't even feel like I need to show that part because it's so simple. You guys can figure it out super easy. All right, so as far as testing the mics go, I'm just going to go ahead and talk into this mic right here, which is the older Fine Fine microphone, and then I'm going to go ahead and talk into this mic that's right here, and you guys will be able to hear the difference, hopefully. So I'm going to try them from far away and close. I'm going to go ahead and just try it from close, where most people would probably have their want to have their mic at, because I wanted to mention, oh, I forgot to mention this, actually. These are condenser microphones. If you guys don't know that, both of these microphones are condenser microphones, so they all, they all are going to sound a lot better if they are closer to your mouth. So I'm actually going to put this one right here and I'm going to go ahead and talk into this one. Be fine, test, test, test. Be fine, microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and mute this one. Be fine, microphone, test, test, test. Be fine, microphone. Now I can't hear the difference in the two microphones yet because I haven't listened to it myself, but hopefully you guys can hear the noticeable difference between these two microphones. Now I'm going to try them both from farther away. I'm going to go ahead and mute this one. Also, one other thing I want to let you guys know is that this microphone over here, one of their older models, does not have a mute button on the microphone, as this one does have a mute button on the microphone, which is actually really nice. So when it's muted, it turns red, and when it's not muted, it's green. So I actually really like that. It's a really cool feature that, um, honestly, almost every mic should just have that. But yeah, this one's really nice. I like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and just try them from farther away. I'm going to go ahead and just put this mic kind of like, almost like out of the way. Super far away from me, you guys should kind of hear the audio kind of die off a little bit. And I'm just going to put it away and I'm just going to type on my keyboard. So I'm going to talk while typing on my keyboard, just pull up a blank document. 
so you guys should be able to hear what that would sound like if I was typing on my keyboard. So once again, I want to let you guys know that I actually have a pretty loud keyboard, if I'm being honest. So this might not be exactly the same for you. But again, I'm going to try them on both microphones. I'm going to start with the older model first, and then I'm going to go on to the newer one. So I'm going to show you guys this. I'm going to go ahead and start with the older one, and then I'm going to go ahead and go on to the newer one right here. So this is the test while typing and talking um, with it being farther away from your mouth. So kind of what some people actually have their mic setups like. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and type like this. Fine, fine, microphone, test. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and mute this microphone and go over to the other one just to see the sound test. Fine, fine, microphone, 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 test. So again, as you guys can see, I have a pretty loud keyboard, so it's obviously going to pick up that sound. But for most of you guys, that should be pretty quiet for the most part, as far as your keyboard go, if it's farther away. But if it's closer to your mouth, I'm going to try it again, being closer to my mouth and typing on my keyboard, because again, like I said, I have a very loud keyboard. These should be sounding quite a bit better this way. Fine, fine, microphone, test. Fine, fine, microphone, test. Fine, fine, microphone, test. Fine, fine, microphone, test. Alrighty, so I want to say one thing with condenser mics, like I already said, you guys should most definitely have them as close to your mouth as you feel comfortable with, because they're going to sound a lot better if they're closer to your mouth, so I just would recommend that for any condenser mic that you get. I want to say one thing about these condenser mics is that they come with, like, literally the whole package. I mean, you have the pop filter, you have this, the... They literally come with the whole package. You have the pop filter, you have the shock mount, you have the actual mic stand itself, or what some people would call the mic arm itself, boom arm. And yeah, I mean, it literally comes with everything that you would need, and it's plug and play. So it's a super simple, really great USB mic, if I'm being honest. Now, as for the actual sound quality of like people being far away, I'm going to go ahead and go to the back of my room and just talk, which is pretty far away. I would say it's probably like 20 feet away, maybe 20, 30 feet away. So I'm going to go ahead and go back there and talk with one microphone being on. I'm going to go ahead and back there and talk with another microphone being on. And I'm going to show you guys the difference. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and talk with the cheaper Fifine microphone, which is this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that one with me being about 25 feet away-ish. So I don't know if you guys can hear this, but this is talking in the background. Fine microphone. This is the older one. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear me in this one, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Alrighty, so now I'm actually going to go ahead and test the other fine, fine microphone. Honestly, I'm not even sure if you guys heard that, but if you guys didn't, then yeah, you know, this mic literally barely picks up background noise compared to the other one, because I'm pretty sure the other one picked up a lot of that sound. If I had to give my overall thoughts on both of these microphones, as far as the newer one goes, honestly, I really love this mic, especially for the price. I think they did a really good job with it overall. Now, this is one of their cheaper ones that's over here that I got maybe, I don't know, maybe a year ago-ish. For that time, I think it was still really good, and this one was only maybe $30 or something like that when I got it. So yeah, this was a really good deal. Now, as far as the newer one that I'm actually reviewing specifically for this video, if you guys are an upcoming streamer or just a YouTuber or anything, you guys just want a better mic and it's easy and it's set up, honestly, this mic is super good. I'm going to be honest. Like, I really didn't think it was going to be that great. But yeah, it's $70 and I would say every, there's, I can't think of a single really like flaw about it, if I'm being honest, other than the fact that I would say it doesn't sound like a $400 microphone, but it's a $70 microphone, you know what I'm saying? It's a USB mic. It sounds really good. Especially for it to just be plug and play, you don't have to add any other settings to it. Now, if you guys want, you guys can obviously go into OBS and, you know, tweak around with your mic settings and make this thing sound even better, sound like a $400 microphone. So yeah, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on that, I'm always down because, yeah, you can make these mics sound absolutely insane. 
So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. But yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna make sure I leave a link in the description again for anything that I used in my video, PC, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure I leave the link to all that stuff in the description. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. And also guys, go check out this microphone. Like honestly, it's actually insane for only $70. Like it's super good. Again, thank you Fine Fine for sending me this microphone. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the review. If I had to give this thing maybe out of 10 stars, and for USB microphones, I would definitely give this like a solid 8.5 to 9, man. This thing is this thing is pretty insane. It's not quite the Elgato Wave, but man, this thing is actually insane for only $70, man. I don't think much can beat it. So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on the video. And uh, yeah, go check out this microphone. See you guys later. Peace.